In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create the viral glass crack effect in After Effects. I mean, in my opinion, this looks super, super cool, this glass crack effect here. I mean, I, I just watched Instagram and I got, a, I got an ad on Instagram and it was... They used this kind of glass crack effect there and I was like, shit, this looks cool and I, you know, I'm gonna make a tutorial on this. Showing you guys how to create it. And before the video starts, I just released my new Ultimate Transitions bundle where I've literally been putting in the most essential and the best transitions to use for your After Effects projects. And it's going to be linked down below so you guys can easily go and check it out. But now let's jump into After Effects, drink some coffee guys, you already know. And uh, let's go. So here we're in After Effects and I've added some footage. I'm going to be showcasing this glass crack effect on. And I'm using FHD with 24 FPS if you guys want to use the same composition settings. But what we're going to be doing here first is to start off by importing a glass crack texture. And you can find a bunch on Pinterest, Adobe Stock. There's a bunch of sources that you can find a glass crack texture on. So we're going to start off by importing our glass crack texture and mine is going to look something like this here and I'm going to be adjusting it a little bit here. Let's see. Let's make something like this Just like that. Now we got a glass crack texture and then we can change the blending mode to screen And we get this look here, which looks I mean pretty shitty we're gonna, not gonna lie here like this looks not as realistic as possible. We want to change the kind of reflection of each crack here, glass crack here. And this is kind of a time-consuming uh, thing to do, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm gonna show you how to do it. So we're going to start off by duplicating our clip here, so we can do that a couple of times. Press Ctrl D, like this, depending on how many glass cracks you want to do. So each one of these clips here is going to represent one little glass crack like this one up here in the corner, for example. So. You know, you can always duplicate more later on. After that, we're going to be creating a new solid layer. And I'm going to make this one red. We can make this the mask. Mask solid, just like that. And these we can also duplicate a lot of. And I put them in between each other here. So something like that. So before we start to mask out the cracks here, be sure that you are satisfied with the textures placement here. And that you don't want to fix the whole, you know... Uh, rotation scale all of that stuff needs to be done before you start doing this yeah so when you're satisfied right now we can start off by making the uh, cracks here so we can start off with the uh, bottom one here and we're going to use the uh, mask tool here or pen tool and we can go and start doing this glass crack here so what we want to do is basically just mask it out like this and go up like this Bam, 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 bam. So now we've got that masked and it's just a solid layer. So we don't really see anything here. So we can make these uh, solo layers here so we can actually see what we're doing. Uh, and we can add the glass texture as well. So this is what we see. And we mask this out. And what we're going to be doing is basically making this invisible. Like just hide this. And then after that, for the clip here, the bottom clip, we're going to be going to the track mat here, and then here we're going to be choosing the uh, mask layer above here, which is the mask. Would be great to naming the clips. Uh, just thought about that now, to be honest, but uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> renaming them. So we're going to name this uh, clip one, and then mask one. And now with the mask here, you can see it just covers this crack here. You can increase the size here, the scale, and it's going to be just being inside the whole mask here. So when you adjust that later on, it's going to be creating this distorted reflection, which is super, super cool. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be unfortunately having to do this for most of the cracks here. Uh, it's a pretty boring, you know, <laughs> thing to do, but uh, that's what we have to do. So we're going to be speeding up the process here a little bit so you guys don't have to uh, watch me do this for hours here. As I said, pretty, pretty boring to do, but I'm just going to be quickly showing you guys now what you can do. So for this one, we can increase the scale to something like that. Then we can go down to the clip three here. Can increase it as well. Clip two, adjust it to your liking. And then clip one, scale. We can do something like that. So, so far, we get this kind of look here. 
And you guys can imagine how it's going to look in the end, but it looks super, super cool so far. Great, we are finally done. That took a well, like, 20 minutes, something like that for me, so... I mean, it's not the most funniest effect to do, obviously, but I think the result really, really, you know, it's worth the result, that's what I'm saying, so... Yeah, like, now you guys can see my really, really good uh, masking here, like, I did some mistakes. You can just add one of the footage to the bottom. Background clip. Delete the solo layers here. So now we get something like this. So this is what the background layer just did. It just filled up the uh, mistakes I did. <laughs> uh, so now, when we get this here, we want to adjust the uh, cracks a little bit. So I'm gonna go to the clip five, just make a little distortion there. The clip six, up there. This one here, we can make it, yeah, something like that. And clip nine, something like that. And now when we play it, we get this look here. Insanely cool glass crack effect here. I mean, this looks crazy good. Like, this is what I'm talking about. Like, this is, wow, absolutely amazing. I'm gonna cut the mask layers here. So after that, we can pre-compose this. Name it like glass rack clip. And then import in another clip. So here I got another clip from Nems here. And I want to pre-compose this first clip. I can name it too. Then we just drag the glass crack clip after this. And we're going to be adding some quick uh, transition or uh, impact here, so it gets a little bit snappier. We get really get this glass breaking feeling here. And I'm going to be using my ultimate transitions bundle for this. So what you just need to do is basically making a new adjustment layer, Control Alt Y, go to animation presets, use the presets. I'm going to be using the impact transitions here, and we can use the bass flash hit here. So drag and drop. It's going to look something like this here, super clean. You just align the keyframes, and then you will get a completely done transition here. Absolutely incredible. Boom. Super clean flash hit here. Now we can play around a little bit with the transform settings here. So maybe put a little bit more focus on the glass crack. Let's say it breaks down here. Pan in here, down in the corner. And then go to the end and set it at default transform settings here. Then scale, set it to 100. Then select all of the keyframes, press F9 to easy ease them. We can open up the position settings here. And we can actually separate the dimensions here for the position settings. Then uh, easy ease them again. Open up X position, and here we can make a sharp graph like this here. Then do the same for the Y position, but it's gonna be up, just like that. And then we do the same for scale here, to drag it down. And now when we play, it's gonna look something like this here. Super, super cool, super, super clean. And if you guys want to spice it up even more, you can add some sound effects to this, like whooshes, a glass cracking sound effect. Okay, so here I have a sound effect. Okay, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> that wasn't the best sound effect. Wait, wait. I think this one is good here. This one could actually work really good. I will. If I'm doing it a little bit before. I think this one can really work great. Boom. And then you obviously have music and stuff like that, but just a just a tiny touch there to you elevate the whole effect even more and yeah i hope you guys liked this insanely clean glass crack effect made in after effects here and if you guys want to check out the ultimate transitions bundle which is a part of my all-in-one bundle it's going to be linked down below and also the all-in-one bundle where i literally have all of my editing assets in one single product which is absolutely incredible so be sure to check it out other than that thank you guys for watching this tutorial and i'll see you guys soon take care and have a nice day